In this video, I'm going to go through three different ways to manage citations in academic work. I see far too many of my students struggle with uh, correctly citing sources in their documents, in text citations, and creating works cited pages, and so on. Um, I think many people are still trying to manage this manually, which is just completely unnecessary. There are automatic tools that exist out there to manage this for you. And I'm going to go through three different ways of doing this. I'm going to go through the built-in tool in Microsoft Word, the new built-in tool in Google Docs, and using a plugin that integrates with Microsoft Word that can manage all of your research and your citations for you. So these are the timestamps in the video. If you want to skip ahead to the Word, the Docs, or the Zotero section uh, specifically, and see how to manage citations using those. Okay, first let's look at how to use the references tool built into Microsoft Word to have it manage your citations for you. Uh, I highly suggest doing this rather than trying to manually enter citations and manage them on your own. So to access that in Word, you just go to references and then um, you will see here the citation section. You can select what citation format you want. So APA, Chicago, Harvard, and so on. You have all these MLA, all of these different options. We'll go with APA. And then this is where you can manage citations. So you'll enter sources by clicking the citations button. And then these are a list. You see, I don't have anything in here. So we're going to enter one. I just happen to have this uh, journal article here. We'll enter this into Word and then see how it manages. So you hit just the add the plus button here. Um, and then you can select your different types. So book, section of a book, article in a journal, article in a periodical. You can see a website, uh, electronic source, a film, an interview, and so on. So you pick what type of source you have, and it will manage the citation for you. So this is an article in a journal. The author is Adam David Morton. Let's go ahead and do it this way so we know we have it in the correct order. Okay, the title is Historicizing Gramsci, Situating Ideas in and Beyond Their Context. So we'll just copy and paste that in here. The journal, Review of International Political Economy. The year is 2003, pages 118 to 146. And we're going to add and say show all bibliography fields so that we can enter in some other things here because we can enter in the month. It, this gets published in February. Volume 10, issue number 1. Okay, that should be good enough. So we say, okay, you'll see here, uh, it's now added this source to our list of possible citations. And as you add more sources, it'll fill this up here. Okay, so it went ahead and added a citation for us. What I'm gonna do is let's pretend that we're quoting something here. So we'll say, whatever, we're gonna quote this article. So we will say, more, according to Morton, and then we will quote. All right, so we have this here, and now we need a citation. So we're going to say enter our citation. Nope, we're going to go here, double click. There we go. It's managed and entered this citation for us, though we could add the page number. If we want to be correct, it's on page 119. So you just click this little drop down, edit this citation, and you can add a page number. Um, you can also do some other options in here, but we're just going to add the page number 119. So there we go. We have an appropriate in-text citation that is all managed and formatted for us because we selected APA. Um, so let's say we're at the end of our document now and we need to enter the works cited page or bibliography. It will do that automatically for us, and you can see that is here. We'll make it a works cited page, and it's done it. So it knows we cited Morton here. It will go ahead and just create the works cited page all correctly formatted in APA format and so on. Um, and it would have all of your sources here clearly if you had more than this one source. So that's how to use the built-in tool 
within Microsoft Word to have it manage your citations for you. You just enter in the meta information for the source, author name, publisher, etc., and then you tell it where you need to cite, and it manages the in-text citations and the works cited for you. Okay, now let's look at Google Docs. It too has a built-in citation manager, much similar to the Microsoft Word one. This is actually new. Um, so if you try to do this uh, prior to, oh, I think it came out a couple of months ago, probably in like October, September of 2020. So if you tried to find this before that time, you wouldn't be able to. So let's see how this works. Same basically thing. You go into tools and citations, and again, you can select, it only gives you a few options, MLA, APA, and Chicago, that should cover uh, almost everyone. It says there are none because we don't have any, so we are gonna, let's do Chicago this time. We are going to uh, add ours in here. So like before, you can pick any kind. We pick journal article. Um, let's say we did print, so we need the author, um, Adam Morton. Middle initial. Okay. So same thing, it lists the source there. We get the idea. So like before, according to Morton, and we would say site. And we put the page number in here, 119. Same thing, so good. Our citation's there, in-text citation is solid. We added the page number, that's a legit in-text uh, citation. Now we're gonna insert the bibliography, and there we go. It has formatted in Chicago uh, format, and uh, yeah, that's it. It's formatted correctly, nothing we need to add or modify there, and it would alphabetize them correctly as well, even if you have more than one source by the same author, um, it will handle all of that for you. So that's how to do it in Google Docs. Uh, much similar to the same that you would do it in Microsoft Word. Same thing using the Google Docs built-in citation tool. All right, the last thing I want to show you is a tool, a citation management tool called Zotero. This is what I personally use to manage all of my research and citations, and it offers a few functions that the other built-in tools in Word and Docs does not offer. So we'll talk about those in just a second. Uh, so you can just download this, it's completely free at zotero.org. You can upgrade, pay for an upgrade, but that's only if you want Zotero to store all of the, your sources. So your articles and books and so on, PDFs and et cetera. Uh, but it's completely free if you don't want to do that, which is how I use it. Um, so you just download it and install it on your machine, Mac, Windows, or Linux. And then it's a plugin that exists inside of Microsoft Word. So you can see right up here, I've installed it and you can see Zotero and it gives you some options. So first, um, I'm gonna show you the Zotero interface on its own. So this is Zotero and uh, it's the software Zotero itself. The, the main functionality that this provides over the built-in citation tools of Word or Docs in Word and Docs, your citations are only linked to that specific document. So if you're writing a paper and you enter all your sources, then uh, you start a new paper in a new Word document, those sources are lost. The really, really good thing about Zotero is it saves all of your sources and you can organize them over here in what it calls your library. You can create folders for all of your different research projects. So like you can see here, I'm currently working on a research project on Italian philosopher Antonio Gramsci. So I have some sources in here related to Gramsci, and then these are all my other resource project, uh, research projects as well. The reason that that's really good is because then, regardless of where I'm writing in Word, all of those sources can be accessed. Any source that's in any of those folders, I can cite just pretty much immediately uh, and add those to my document, and Zotero and Word together will manage them completely. So um, let me show you how to add a source in here. It's not really rocket science. It's basically uh, similar to how we added it before. So you just go to the plus over here, and you get to pick a wide variety of different things. We are, again, going to do journal article, and we'll just do the same one. So the title, do I still have it in here? Nope, that's the journal title. So I will put that down here in publication. Uh, okay, the title of the article. And 
and the author, uh, what was his name? Morton Adam. And I'll put his middle name in there actually as well. Okay, volume, it was volume 10, issue 1, pages 118 to 146. The date was February 2003, and it automatically formats that into month and year. It's smart enough to know that that's the case. Um, and that's really all that we need. If you had gotten this online, you could add a URL on the date that you accessed it and so on. Uh, but that's all we need for this article. Now, let's go over to Word, and I'm going to show you how to do this. So let's get rid of all this stuff. These are the citations from when we used the built-in Word document. Okay, so here we go. We have the same citation according to Morton, blah, blah, blah. So we need to now add a citation. So we're going to click on the Zotero plugin section in Word, and we can select Document Preferences, and it will ask us what sort of style we want to use. We'll just stick with what's selected, which is Chicago. And then we say add citation. So here we just pick Morton. And now it's already so showing us that this is in our list. You can also do like we could do historicizing. We could do the title and it would uh, we'd be able to find that here too as well. And then if you want to add more information, which we want to add the page number we click here and say 119, hit enter twice, and it's added for us. So it's added the footnote uh, down here, which is formatted correctly uh, with the page number and everything that we need. So it will manage our citations. We have a good citation here. Now let's do just like before. Let's do a page break and we're gonna now enter our citation. So we go back to Zotero. Add bibliography, and it's done it for us. So completely formatted correctly in the Chicago, in this case, citation uh, format, and we don't have to do anything else there, and it will manage everything just like Word and Docs would have for us. Um, so I highly recommend Zotero just because it's free, and it can manage sources across multiple different research projects. So you can build a huge library of sources over time that can be accessed within uh, word. So those are basically three ways to manage your citations so you don't have to do them manually, which I uh, definitely do not suggest. It's just way too cumbersome and time consuming. So save your time and use these resources, whether it's the built-in tool in Word, the built-in tool in Google Docs, or Zotero. Um, I wish someone would have told me about Zotero when I first started my academic career, um, but I actually asked, I polled scholars in a Facebook group that I'm in of sociologists and said, what are you guys doing? Because this is completely ridiculous. I'm trying to manage this all manually. And overwhelmingly, the vast majority of them were using Zotero. Uh, so highly, highly suggest that.